My name is Jessica and this is Relatable Motherhood. You are going to hear my kids playing in the background. It's the middle of the day here. I wanted to sit down today and talk about everything that I keep in my first aid kits. So this first aid kit goes everywhere we go. So if we're in the house, it's in the house with us. If we are on our play date, it's in the diaper bag that I carry around on our play date. If we're in the car, it comes into the car with us. Wherever we go, I have it with us. I originally got this container from Walmart. I think it was $20, 20, 20 or $30. And I've just kept the container because I just love it. It opens and shuts super easy. Um, and it originally came with everything pictured here. So it had um, band-aids and gauze and different kinds of band-aids, cleansing wipes, um, like a band-aid cover, and it came with Benadryl cream and Neosporin and a little packet of Tylenol and one of those like breakable ice packs. That's a pretty good baseline for a first aid kit, but it wasn't enough in my opinion. So I'm one of those parents that likes to be super prepared. Like if we're on a play date together and someone gets hurt, I got you. So let's just break in to this box and I'll show you everything that's in here. For ease, you and I are sitting on my kitchen floor. All right, so we open it up. It is not tidy at all, but it doesn't matter. So I have gauze, kind of a lot of gauze. Last year, my son fell while he was holding a glass bowl and he cut open his hand and he ended up needing stitches. It was a whole thing and we ended up using a whole roll of gauze and ever since then we have like majorly stocked up on gauze and i just think it is very important to have so i have gauze and the kids started to open this the other day and i have one of those triple layer non-stick pads that you put on a bad wound i have that um, and the reason that i don't care that it's opened is because they didn't actually take it out and this is for my kids. So like if a kid at the playground was hurt, I wouldn't hand them this one, you know? But this kit is mainly for my own children. I have Neosporin, the pain relief kind, and I do check periodically to make sure that what we have is not going to expire. This is good until 2025, so I have Neosporin. I have an off-brand hydrocortisone cream. This is great for bee stings or just for any kind of burn or tiny allergic reaction that they might have. It's maximum strength. I have used this on myself when I got a bee sting and it really helped, like really a lot. I have these ice packs. Um, we actually, I like to keep two and I have two of these first aid kits and I like to keep two in each one. Um, generally, I have two first aid kits because generally I like to have one in the house and one that just like lives in the car. But right now, since I'm like not completely stocked in both of them. I just have all my stuff in this one. These are $1.97, I believe, at Walmart. You crack them open and you shake them, and that's how they become cold. They're one-time use only, um, which is kind of a bummer, but for $1.97, that is not bad at all. We keep those in the first aid kit. Um, I have scissors so that I can cut the gauze to size. I have tape to hold gauze in place. And I have, I used to have a box of band-aids in here, but that was really impractical for space. So I just have band-aids loose. <laughs> this is just another kind of gauze tape. I have a thermometer because over time I've just ended up having a lot of thermometers and I decided why not throw one in the first aid kit. If we're out and about and one of the kids starts acting sick, I can check their temperature and if they have a fever, that means it's time to head home. I have a glasses fixing kit. These are like, $2.99 or something, super cheap. If you're a glasses wearer, you know how awful it is to be away from home or even at home and your glasses break and then you just have to deal with it. But being away from home is the worst. I had one time where the screw came out of the side of my glasses and I didn't have a kit and I literally just had to drive home with my glasses like this and like just try to keep pushing it up so I could see to drive home. I recommend having a glasses kit and I also recommend having a spare pair of glasses. Um, so I have that. I do have a pair of disposable gloves in here. It came with the kit long ago. We've never used them, but I figure, you know, why not just hang on to them? Better safe than sorry. Lots of loose band-aids, big and small. More of these gauze things. I do have children's Tylenol, age two to 11 in here. Anybody has a headache or an owie or just starts feeling yucky, I just like to keep that in here. And I am low on these, but I have little 
um, hand wipes. I've used these to clean alleys when we're at the playground um, before we put medicine and a band-aid on them. I have nail clippers because when you're out and about, having a broken nail is the worst. I can't stand it, it's awful. And then tweezers for splinters. And then I have had two instances now where kids around me have gotten into stinging nettles. You can take baking soda and if you ha and you mix it with water and you make it into a paste, and if you put it on the st the part of you that got the stinging nettles, it soothes it. I've seen kids be so so sad about the pain and the itch of stinging nettles, and a lot of our play group dates or play play, we're in a play group, and a lot of our play group times are in forested areas. So I wanted to have that in the first aid kit just in case my kids eventually get into stinging nettles. So I have that. And then I do still have Tylenol in here. Are you expired? Darn it. Yes, you are. Useless. Guess I need to restock on Tylenol in here. And then it looks like, yeah, just loose band-aids. And that is expired too. I used to have burn cream in here, but I used it all. So I need to restock. I used to have like little packets like this, only burn cream. Like if you burn yourself in the kitchen and it was really nice to have on hand, I need to get some more of those. Pretty much anything that you can find that goes in a first aid kit, super duper cheap at Walmart or basically any convenience store. These are the things that I like to have on hand at all times for my kids. So comment below, do you have a first aid kit? If you do, do you have all these same things? Am I missing something? I love to know if I'm missing something. If I'm missing something, if there's something you would add to this kit, comment it below. If you want this exact first aid kit with all of like the basics and stuff, I will link it below for you so you can grab it for yourself. I think that getting like a basic cheapy kit and then just filling it yourself is really smart rather than going online and buying one that's like pre-filled. I just feel like it's way, way more expensive to do it that way. It's way cheaper because you can actually get a lot of this stuff at the dollar store too. I didn't even think of that until this moment. You can get a lot of the stuff at the dollar store and just totally have a great stocked first aid kit. And it's at the point now where if anybody gets an owie, I keep this down low or my kids can reach it um, because they're old enough to be responsible and they will come and grab it for themselves um, or they'll come and grab it for each other and it's the sweetest thing. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked today's video. I would love to hear your suggestions for future videos. What do you want to see more of on the channel? Really want to be making content that is serving you guys and helping you feel less anxious and less overwhelmed and more on top of your homemaking mom life. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not, and I will see you in the next one.